Judy Veers and I am doing a research request. So, if you don't know much about me, I've been in the research field. My internship at the University of Maryland School of Social Work, one of them for one year was at Ruth H. Young. That's research. It's research on child, um, gosh, it was all, you can Google it. I'll try to add a link to this video. And I also worked at Family Connections, which does work helping families. They were working on trauma-informed family connections and grandparent family connections. I used to work at the door, the inner city. My family did foster care. I have um, used to volunteer with all types of special needs at Camp Greentop for summers, um, off and on, like days. I worked at Honor of Maryland and I did all the data entry, Ruth H. Younger did data entry, analyzed data. So I actually like data. I like evidence-based. It's not, it's not enjoyable, but when you have something evidence-based to listen to and you need a team. I, so Dr. Um, Donald Clifton created the How You Fill a Bucket how full is your bucket? But he did like interviewed, thou uh, I don't remember how many, but like over a million people, I think that he and his like his team interviewed, right? So I need help because I actually want to create a curriculum for either fifth grade or older or just trauma or substance use or suicide prevention. I want to do curriculum development. I want to do trainings and I need help and a team because I'm like I want I want to do surveys. I want to input it. I can do so much, but if I got my alma mater involved, like we have interns in every work, I mean, social work is, we got prisons, we got substance use, we got domestic violence, we have schools, we have legislation, what, you know, we, we're everywhere. Um, we're therapists, you know, so if we actually ha had something to study, we're researchers, we're curriculum development, we write all the programs, we can. We may not be the only ones. We're a team. So bear with me. This is for teens. Whatever we're doing isn't working. Um, cutting suicides, uh, overdoses are not are still happening. So crap happens philosophy sounds um, crappy, right? But for teens freshman year or going into sixth grade and we talked about life isn't fair and that's not fair that it's not fair and that crap happens that bad things happen and we can turn it into fertilizer to grow something beautiful we can actually like this is this could be each page could be like a one hour topic this could be like a whole grade one hour a week as social workers we go in we teach mental health we teach step zero of the 12 steps don't do it like don't even try because you can learn from all of, you know, my generation and generation's mistakes. Like, we don't need deaths of despair. Like, we can do so much better and we can tell kids that. We can talk about it. Um, so I want to do a fifth grade or eighth grade or freshman year curriculum development. That's my long-term goal, five-year goal. I also want um, help with everyone has a backpack. So this could be a lot younger, this could be third grade, where it's just introducing mental health and talking about it. It's child friendly, it's, it's, it's so kind. So this is one, and I think we should do suicide prevention with this. So we could do the big book or we could just do lots of little books. I can do, I am so flexible, like it does not, it's about a revolution of heart, not, I, maybe my ideas will launch a better idea that somebody else has, it doesn't, it's not, um, it's about, Changing the world, not who gets credit or which not. But, um, yeah, we could talk to kids about suicide prevention. Beware of the pit of despair, you know. Um, it happens. We get out of it, though. You know, I've been out of it. Um, if you don't know about it, you can't prepare yourself. It's not, um, it, not everyone goes into it, but it's good to know. I want to do a uh, hospice and um, loss. So I'm like, I would love to create books for loss. Like we can actually, there's a lot of writers that just write and do that. I like evidence based. I would love to try things out. Like if we're dealing with a parent di dying of cancer, let's work on a book with them that they can give to their kids and 
see how that affects things. Like we can actually study so much of different things. Um, it's amazing what you can study if people are willing. Uh, I want you to love me as I am and believe in me. Like this type of book, the idea is the child reads it to the parent and then the parent reads it to the child and they can alternate. So there's like different roles. So the first half is like 10 things that kids want their parent to know. And then it's like how parents generally feel. And then it's kind of back and forth and building up self-esteem with different quotes. Like you are beautiful and things on that nature. Um, yeah, so it's a lot. I have time. <laughs> I wanted to put it out there. So I would love to meet with um, the person in charge of University of Maryland School of Social Work. We've been emailing and I'm like, so I kind of want to talk about curriculum development. Um, I'm not against going back to get my doctorate, but I'd rather, I, I love being a therapist. So it's kind of like so much time, but Yes, I, I probably will do a YouTube on <laughs> different pages um, with my time and just put it online and uh, maybe it, that's all it is. Maybe it, it actually becomes a program. I'll do my part. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then the other half for all of them, this could be another video. But I know awesome people where I live that are doing amazing, incredible things in the community. And what we're doing in Westminster, some of those people are happy to go to Baltimore. So we have, like, Find Your Purpose. Billy does all this stuff to build the community. And he reaches a population that generally doesn't like, um, maybe not generally, but some people don't like therapists and social workers and don't like the system. So those people are, you know, in that professional or harder reach. Um, he reaches everybody that, that goes through the cracks. So his program could totally, like he's willing to go to Baltimore and do things. Like he, he's developing something beautiful here. Tina who, and Eric who do um, the Infinite Love Project, their signs with the Be Kind signs and all that. They're also like yoga instructors. They can come to Baltimore too and do awesome community building workshops. My friend Letitia does Expanding Boundaries. She helps kids, um, youth get their passport and do the whole international travel experience. Um, the, what is it, taking a class overseas. Or She does a lot of like international cultural awareness things. That matters because we're so stuck in our little bubble we don't realize things. Like, I've gotten international travel and you are different. You see things differently in Kenya. You know, you see uh, a fam uh, uh, neighborhood on the dump with makeshift houses. Okay, so when you're comparing things, it's like if you actually had a real tent, yeah, man, they would love that, you know? So it's like even homelessness and things on that nature, you just have a different perspective, you know? So um, thank you for listening. I... It'll be interesting to see where I am, what happens in the next five years. I'm writing. I'm doing my part. I love to meet people that are happy to do research and get those. Help me on that end because I love to go from what I think is best to researching it and creating what is best based on evidence. And it may, um, you know, my theory may or may not be right that it's helpful, but, it, you know. So, all right. Thank you for viewing. Have a great day.